Good morning. I wanted to share our story with you. At my age, most guys are ready to retire. They're ready to go hunting, fishing, play golf, spend time with the grandkids, or whatever. Not that I don't want to do any of those things, but my wife and I decided to live life to the fullest. And what we did was we sold our business, we sold our house, and we bought a 220-year-old historic home in the center of Virginia. Now this house needs a lot of work. We put all of our savings into it. We've only bought this house a little over a year ago, and we've been living here about that same amount of time. We have rolled what we made from the business, our retirement, and almost everything into it. Now, my friends and my peers would say, you've got to be out of your mind. You should have been able to take that, and if you lived frugally, you'd be able to have that last the rest of your life. Now, that's good for a lot of people, but that's not good enough for us. Um, I don't want to coast into my winter years. I want to go full bore, pedal to the metal, screaming, dragging me out. That's how I want to go. Now, yes, we're coming to the end of our funds and the house here isn't quite finished. Now, when I say house, I'm talking 220-year-old house made by a contemporary of Thomas Jefferson. It's on 43 acres. It's in really poor shape, but we're getting it back into the condition that it should be. It also includes a three-bedroom cottage that my parents have sold their house in the Outer Banks of North Carolina, and they have moved into that. And we have mostly hills here. We're gonna do something with the property down the road. Um, and we're gonna to have to generate some sort of income. But I have restored old houses in the past, but it's been probably a couple of decades since I've done that. And every day we get up and we work harder physically than we did in our own business when we owned it. Um, I don't look at that with regret. I uh, don't think I made a bad decision. Did I like being able to take vacations and do fun things and have a nice car instead of two pickup trucks and a bunch of tractors here? Uh, at times, yes, but it doesn't give me, it didn't give me the opportunity. I mean, I was bored. I was fully retired for one year and I was going stir crazy. I had to have something to be able, a project to be able to do. Now I'm in the barn slash shop on the property and you'll see a lot of videos about this. Uh, what we're making in the shop, we've got a hayloft up there. We want to turn into an Airbnb. I'd like you to be able to kind of follow us on our journey. Take a look at our other videos that we posted and the repairs that we're doing in the house, the fun, the things that we're discovering here at what the property was called 220 years ago, which is Bon Air, which means good place in French. So it is a good place. And I feel like I'm at a good place in my life. Is it a little scary? Is it a little risky? Is it something that I would probably have done in my 30s instead of where I am currently, probably should have, but I don't want to end and go out with a whimper. I want to continue to dream. I want to continue to continue to build. I want to, to, to squeeze all of I can out of this life. And I don't think dreams were meant for the young so that as we get older we can just kind of coast and then have the babies playing on our knee and that sort of thing. No, I want to be able to enjoy all those things, but I don't want to stop dreaming and pursuing things that bring joy and passion. 
Just wanted to be honest with you and kind of share my reason and why I did what I did. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe to follow our journey.